You're watching Mad Tea Reviews. Let's get leafed. I'm Matthew. I'm David. And we are here in the Yunnan province of China. Oh wait, we're in Mount Baldy, California to film another episode featuring Maker's Tea Yunnan Gold Black Tea. So let's brew it. Let's get leafed. Hey, I'm here getting our water ready. We're going to 212 all the way to boiling because we have a black tea today. Thanks to Toyota, I'm able to plug it in the back of my truck and get our water heating up, ready for brewing. All right, we're ready to go. Our water's at boiling, and we're going to make our tea loose leaf style, although Maker's Tea does send you 20 unbleached tea bags, which is really awesome of them to do that. They also send you this portion scoop, which they say to use uh, two thirds. I'm gonna use a full kind of sort of heaping scoop there. And we're doing it in the perfecto because we like watching the uh, tea leaves open up and brew. So let me get our water going in there. And we'll see in a little bit for tasting. more minute of brewing so I want to mention a couple things about uh, Maker's Tea. They're out of Rochester, New York. Uh, according to Andy and everyone there they sample dozens of tea a month and they want to bring you the best possible tea. This Union Gold is the one that put them on the map so uh, we're gonna sample it in a second and we're really looking forward to it. All right ready to taste and ready to do our tests. So I'm gonna get my friend David half a cup pee in my cup, sir. I want half, and then I'm going to give you a little more, I'll give you four, and a little more. So we brewed 16 ounces, for those of you who don't know, these are 8-ounce cups. So one scoop is good for two 8-ounce cups. Alright, now let's do our sight test, David. It looks like a, a reddish, that's like a, a yeah, there's a lot of there's red. red in there. You're right, I like that though, it's a nice yeah. looking color there. It's I would say golden red. A little bit of orange too, and, and we're in the sun, so it kind of probably changes it in, you know, inside looking at it. It's a golden really red nice. color, golden red color. And you know what, yours is darker just by looking. Mine's a little darker. You got the first little bit. I got more red. Yeah, mine. you did. All right, smell, David. Oh, that smells good. It almost smells like wow. the apricot tea that we had yeah. last episode. It does, it does smell similar, but it's, yeah. it has that really like citrusy black Kinda. smell to it too. Kind of not, not as much apricot, I'm catching a little orange tone. It smells really good though. Yeah, it smells like... Like citrus, citrusy. You know what it smells like? What? Like I really want to drink it. So let's try drink it. it. Hmm. Let's get leaves. <laughs> That's wow. good. It's really good. And let me tell you what I did. Because uh, Maker's Tea has a claim that you cannot overbrew this tea. It will not get bitter by overbrewing. So because they put five to seven minutes on the bag, I brewed it for eight. And I must say, it's not bitter. It's, it's not bitter. Good. It's good. Good claim, because it's true. It's probably one of the best black teas I've ever had. It's up there. Yeah. It's, almost tastes it's, like a poor tea. Yeah. It almost tastes like a poor tea a little bit. Similar, but it, it is really good. I really do enjoy this. Now, as far as rating, uh, I'm going to give it a 4.3. I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. Nice. Because it's, it, I like, I'm more citrusy guy, but the quality of the loose leaf and the color and just all the combinations that we talked about, to me, is worthy of a 4.5 out of 5 rating. It's good. I'm going to stick with my 4.3. Thank you for watching another episode today. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next episode, Mad Tea 2016. Thank you.